Happy Wally Wednesday, everybody. It is October 9th, approximately 8.45 p.m. here on Wednesday. We are committed to getting you these weekly Wally Wednesday updates like we used to do, and we're excited to be here. It's been a long day, but you know what? All of our days for the last nine months have been long days, and that's okay because we're doing the right thing and we're building it the right way. So we're in good spirits We'll see, it'll be interesting to see how long it takes to get this thing edited. Uh, fortunately, our cameraman is happy with our lighting situation right now. So uh, you may be getting this late in your inbox or potentially on Thursday morning. And if so, good morning to you, everybody. Uh, I'm excited to kind of talk about really two things that we have been working on, really burning the candle at both ends, to be honest. One of them has been approximately a 115 day push to achieve and the other one is approximately three years in the making. So uh, to kick this off, uh, happy Wally Wednesday on this episode of Some Assembly Required. I wanna be talking about our new property equity website which is now live and launched. It's been, it's a creative task. You know, it's not like making phone calls, it's not, you know, it's not doing a task that's repetitive, it's creative, it's being, it's thinking, it's pondering, it's innovating, it's hard. And sometimes you just go through like a day or two or a week and you're like, do we really like that content? Maybe we need to redo it or maybe there's a better way to do it. For the last 115 days, give or take, uh, we've been building a new private equity website, wallacenarii.com. Uh, really so we can change how we communicate effectively with new limited partners or investor prospects. I mean, if, you're, if you've been with us for the long haul, you know that these Wally Wednesday series initially started so we could update you know, friends, family, stakeholders, and investors. Uh, and it was awesome inside of our network. You know, uh, if, we, if you didn't watch the last video uh, that was released about you know, 13 days or so, kind of recaps our life since COVID-19. Check it out, there's a lot of good nuggets in there. But what we realized in 2024, as the landscape changed to raise capital, really what, what, we, what we learned is that our new investor prospects, we weren't doing a good enough job educating them and ultimately making them feel comfortable, right? Because we did a lot of phone calls, we did a lot of meetings, uh, I struck out a lot and it was frustrating. But you know, when you, when, you have, when you have some at bats and you kind of get to zoom out and look at the big picture, you can really start to see the holes in your strategy, the way you communicate, the way you operate. You know, we can always improve. We're always working to improve. Uh, if you're not growing, you're dying. You're going backwards. But uh, non nonetheless, you know, sometimes it's challenging and painful. But what we learned is that we weren't communicating well enough to new prospective limited partners. You know, I think, we were taking for granted the nine years of experience and $70 million worth of real estate transactions that we did. Uh, and that's great. You know, we've been there for every nail purchase. We've been there for every piece of lumber. We've been there for every tile, every window. Uh, but sometimes you just, you take those experiences for granted and maybe you go over, you know, high level concepts or maybe sometimes you get in the weeds when you're talking to a prospective LP and you overwhelm them. And rightfully so. It's a lot of moving parts. Real estate, by and large, isn't overly complex from a spreadsheet perspective, but there are a lot of moving pieces when it comes to being an operator and a manager, and obviously that's how we create value. So what we realized after all these at-bats is that we needed a better harpoon, a better tool to teach people about our business. And you know, like I said in the last video, we've had two private equity coaches that have both built on the education that they've taught us, uh, and, and that's been amazing. But the second coach really helped us, <clears throat> excuse me, the second coach really helped us advance our magnetic market, our magnetic marketing, educating the investor, really holding their hand step by step. Uh, and even holding their hand step by step through you know, due diligence, because private equity compared to a single property can seem a little overwhelming. So I'm ecstatic to announce that wallacenarii.com, our new private equity website, is on, it's live. I want you to check it out. I want you to learn some things. I want you to send me a message. Tell me what you think. 
uh, an odyssey. Give, me, give it all to me, good, bad, ugly. At this point, you, you, you might be able to hurt my feelings, but I, I can take it. But no, seriously, it's an awesome website. It does everything from you know, zoom out and talk about like, what are the jobs of your investment portfolio? Beyond real estate investing, like what is your investment portfolio supposed to be doing? Are you appropriately hedging your risk? Are you ensuring that your purchasing power isn't eroded over time? High level concepts that we didn't really talk about before, but man, such powerful stuff when you start thinking about it. All the way down to, or the next step, you know, alternative investments, why are they more powerful than stocks and bonds? Or how are, you know, how are they outpacing returns? Um, and then from there, you just kind of zoom in and zoom in and zoom in a little bit farther. So we talk about everything from our buy box, you know, our acquisition process, our management process, how we're creating value for our investors and partners, how do we exit the transactions, um, what is the current offering, all of this stuff is now on the website. You know, obviously, some of you watching may be like, well, yeah, why wouldn't you have that website finished before you started marketing? Well, that sounds perfect in a vacuum, but in real world, uh, you know, sometimes you need to jump off of the cliff and build the plane on the way down. And that's kind of what we were doing when we shifted from this traditional model that worked for us for the first couple years over to a more advanced and sophisticated private equity model. So, yeah, an incredible amount of work. Uh, God bless Caleb, because <laughs> we have been working long days for so long, but he is really the master uh, behind the scenes of putting this together and shooting all that video content. I think there's, at this point, 33, 34, 35 videos that accompany written text as education on our website. So depending on whether you're a, a brand new investor that's never invested in real estate to whether you're a seasoned expert, I think everybody will learn something and at minimum hopefully appreciate, uh, appreciate you know, a takeaway or two from this site. So number one, www.wallacenrei.com. Check out our new private equity website. Uh, feel free to book a call uh, with me or uh, reach out to consult if you wanna talk about it. And then secondly, something that we've been working on for three years, this is our property management ecosystem, or as we've coined, a single source of truth for our business. So this, this kind of goes back, I'm gonna take you back a little bit. You know, in 2020, 2021, we had a couple condominium projects happening in Boston. That was really Harrison's thing. You know, he's, he's, he's smarter when it comes to the heavier lift projects. I was out here in Western Massachusetts doing more of the people stuff, you know? And at that point in, in our career earlier on, because if you remember, we started getting educated in 2000 and a, end of 18, early 19 about multifamily real estate. And Harrison and I have always been big proponents of like learning everything, right? Because if you understand the model, if you've been through the repetitions, uh, it's harder to get tricked, right? Like the easiest way to lose money in a real estate construction project is to hire a contractor and not know about construction because you just don't know what you don't know. And we've been, you know, uh, that's been a big fan of, uh, a big saying of mine for the last couple of years and it really is true. So in the beginning, we said, we wanna get our hands dirty, we wanna get involved, I wanna go through all of the headaches, I wanna go through all the annoyances, I want the 3 a.m. calls, I want the 1 p.m. calls, I want everything in between, the showings, the listings, the lease ups, you know, and I guess at, this is, I guess I'm dating myself a little bit, but towards you know fall of 2020, early 21, I was pretty much just running the show. We had a couple people out here on the on the ground, but I was ultimately really running it at that point in time. And there were some days I was just getting 80, 90, 100 phone calls, and it was brutal. There was a point to where I was just like, this is so overwhelming. Like. If I'm getting this many phone calls and I'm not really loving my property management prospects because we didn't really get into this business with the intention of managing property for the long haul, we just wanted to learn it, understand it. Um, but after we didn't really like the property managers that we were talking to, uh, that little voice of one of my earlier echo, uh, one of my earlier mentors was just echoing, and he was like, "Nobody will love your baby like you do," and I just. I'll never forget, you know, I was sitting there at assembly in Quincy with Caleb and I'm just, I'm tired. I'm just, I'm a tired landlord in my early 30s 
and I'm just getting these 100 cold days back to back to back to back while we're trying to renovate properties and do all these things and juggle all these balls. And I'm just sitting there with Caleb and I'm like, how are we ever going to get to like, how are we going to get to 1,000 units? How are we going to get to 5,000 units when I don't like the management people that we've been talking to? And I don't really know if I actually care to continually continue managing our portfolio. Like, what are we going to do? And Caleb, who has, he's great at videos. He's great at pictures and websites. He's a jack of all trades, I guess. And he's also our cameraman. Um, his background, while this is his passion, camera, photo, video, his background and his corporate experience is actually in uh, restaurants. So we've been friends for a long time. We've been playing music together since we were 13 years old. So I guess we've been friends now for 20, 20 years. And uh, that's awesome. But his first job was in a quick service restaurant. And then until he moved here, basically a week after COVID-19 shut down everything, his, his entire experience almost was in uh, the restaurant industry. Everything from back of house at all separate levels of culinary cuisine to fine dining restaurants uh, where he helped prepare food. And then he got into the corporate side of things where he did front of house management and he uh, most importantly learned about the systems of incredibly successful large chain restaurants. And he was sitting with me at this bar in Quincy, and he was saying, you know, it's really interesting, uh, you know, in the restaurant industry, I can pull up any day, any shift, any time, I can look at, like, what was my labor percentage, what was my hourly rate, what was my sales, what was my cost of goods, like, I can give you all these numbers to the minute, and I can go back three, four, five years. And he's like, why can't real estate professionals do that? And I'm like, well, I don't know. It's probably because we're getting 90 calls a day and it's just administratively taxing. It's so hard just to keep up. I, and I was frustrated, right? Um, I'm over it now. But he was like, you know, I've got some great experience with this program um, that, you know, I think I could maybe help, help you guys with like some of your financial literacy and clarity around, you know, the moving pieces of your business. And I was like, absolutely, come on in, happy to have you. Well, this program, this, this in-house software that we've effectively been developing for the last three years has went through iteration after iteration after iteration. I mean, it makes the, the work that we did on the website seem nominal by comparison. But basically what we did is we built this single source of truth uh, to effectively accompany every single component of what a real estate operator and manager would go through. And you might be thinking, why go through all this trouble? There's plenty of other you know, great services. Alex, I use this company, I use that management company, yada, yada, yep, sure, absolutely. And we tried those too. But what I realized is sometimes when you're looking, you're working with people, old habits die hard and you really gotta manage those people, which is fine, it's what we signed up for, absolutely. I'm not, no, no discredit to that. But there always seemed to be with like a new iteration, there'd be a human hiccup that we'd encounter. And at the end of the day, you needed multiple programs. Like this one had to plug into this one and this one complemented this one and you had a phone line for this and all these different things. Well, we figured out effectively how to put it all into one source. And the beautiful part behind this is that this source will now integrate into our new private equity website. So the limited partners or in our investors, they'll basically get their own login and then they'll be able to log into our website and based on the information preferences they want to receive, they'll be able to get up to the minute reporting across every aspect of every project. Not just financials, not just financials, but like, you wanna see how many phone calls we had today? You wanna to actually see the transcripts of those phone calls in order? Would you like to see the linear conversation that has ever happened with that one tenant through the life of our relationship together? And have it include documents, work orders, all these things. And I was like, this is absolutely amazing. This is so cool. And what it really does is, it A, it keeps us organized, which is great, but B, it reduces so much burden. I mean, Harrison is our director of operations. God bless him too. He's managing our, our boots on the ground out here. 
And he's been, he's been phenomenal in, in, in still removing a bit of the active management that we're still doing. But by comparison, the involvement and the stress, the taxation uh, is, is so much better than what it used to be. Uh, so that's, that's the number one. But I think there's potential for this, uh, this property management ecosystem to actually have um, financial capacity outside of just what we're doing. I think it could potentially become another money maker for us down the road, which would be awesome. But more importantly, it will allow us the ability to substantially scale our operation, which is what we've always wanted to do. I mean, ever since we've started our company, it's been like, how do we level up? How do we get to the next level? How do we get to the next level? Some guys want to just do the same little thing over and over and over and over again, and that's great. We're going to do that inside of our fund with a similar type of asset each time. But at some point, when you can level up your financing, you can increase your capacity to grow if you want to. And we've always wanted to. So this was really born out of the, the hope, the idea, the thought, how do we manage 2,000 units? How do we manage 5,000 units? How do we manage 10,000 units? Uh, because we know property managers that work for larger companies and they oversee thousands of units and they're still pulling out their hair. They're literally frustrated with their management jobs and they're going through the same problems we were just on a bigger scale. And that's not why we signed up for real estate. I mean, most of us got into real estate to, you know, uh, for financial freedom, legacy, wealth building, you know, all these, these great things on paper. You know, you got to put in the work. No one's, no one's saying you don't. But at the end of the day, you don't just want to handcuff yourself to a well-paid job that sucks the life out of you. So it was like, how do we grow this company and not all go gray? Although some of us look very good peppered, I think. Uh, so three years in the making, uh, iteration after iteration, and at this point, we're, we're about six months out. Well, at this point, I think we're closer to maybe five months out from having that full transparency and live reporting on our website. As part of the email, if you're on our email list, and if you're not, make sure you hit me up so I can put you on it. Uh, in the body of this email, you're gonna see some fiduciary uh, like transparency and literacy to come through our single source of truth property management ecosystem. So check it out for more detail on what's to come and what you're gonna be able to actually see as an investor inside our company. Um, but it's just, whew, it's amazing. I feel so good to have that website done, and it feels so good to know that we're so close to getting this this fully, you know, scalable property management solution um, up and running and off the ground. And I mean, the version we have right now works very well for what we have. You know, we've got some great boots on the ground, and you know, our systems are streamlined, and everything's working. We're just going to make it better for scale. You know, how do you how do you add two hundred and fifty units? every month, for example, and not get inundated with paperwork and get overwhelmed. That was the thought. So um, <clears throat> we're super close and I'm really excited. So check out the video, check out the, 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 the text in the, in the email. Let me know what you think. Uh, and as always, I'm happy to talk anything about our business with you more. Um, feel free to hit that like button, subscribe, follow us, share with your brother, your mother, your lover your father. Peace and love to you. We appreciate it. I'm Alex from Wallaston REI on Wallaston REI TV. That's our new rebranded YouTube channel. So if you're not following, please give us a follow. And we appreciate you. We're going to see you next Wednesday. Peace.